video. It's currently Wednesday the 8th of July and as you see from the title of this video it's going to be a bit of a day in the life type video to kind of show you what it's like working from home and training for a half Ironman and ultra Spartan race. So yeah, I'm going to take you through a little bit about the day. And as you can see, I already had a run this morning, which was a 30 minute run, covered about just over 5k. Lunchtime, we'll get a gym session in, so a bit of weights, and then after work, we have a one hour bike ride. So yeah, it's a pretty fun on day today, so um, we'll take you through it, and I hope you enjoy it. coming up to half past nine. I spent the first part of the morning going through emails, through LinkedIn and preparing for a team meeting that we have now at half past nine. We tend to have team meetings at the moment on a Monday morning, Wednesday morning and Friday morning. Working from home it's kind of good just to check in with the team and just make sure everyone's week's going okay. If there's any problems I guess then um, it's good to probably bring them up in these meetings. I think start of the week, midweek, and at the end is pretty perfect. And on that note, we are now going to jump on this meeting. That is this morning's meeting complete. Um, obviously, working from home now, you don't have your, your colleagues around you every day, so it is nice to just catch up and see how everyone's week's going so far, talk about any opportunities that are in the pipeline for everyone, and yeah, just to catch up and just see how everyone's week's gone and what the plan is for the rest of the week. Plan for me now for the next probably hour, so it's just come up to half past ten. So for the next hour now, it'll probably be uh, lead generation. So I'll be going on various websites, LinkedIn, Google, job board websites to kind of find accounts that potentially are worth reaching out to. So they'd have to meet certain uh, proxies. So you know the website platform they use, so it'll Shopify, Magento, or WooCommerce, for example how many employees they have, their Alexa rank, all different types of proxies that you need to take in to consideration before putting them in the system and potentially reaching out to them. So that will be for the next hour and then we'll have a quick coffee break and we'll catch up then. just about to hit 12 o'clock so we're gonna head into the gym now and do a weight session probably gonna do a bit of chest and arms and maybe a little bit of core to finish and yeah we'll get changed now hopefully that worked otherwise I look like an absolute idiot it's a pooch
30 minutes in total. With that session, I just picked a bunch of exercises and did them back to back, very little rest in between. The rest was basically going to the next exercise. So I find that's a good way to get a session in if you are short of time and you want to work out in your lunch period, then it's a great little session to do. Just pick a few exercises, just do them back to back and go as hard as you can. The one thing I've noticed recently is that around three, four o'clock, I tend to get a bit of an energy slump. Now the way the training sessions are set up around my work, the final session's at about half five, six o'clock. So the last thing you want at around three or four o'clock is to feel like crap and have no energy to do that workout. So something that I've been doing is drinking BPN in focus. Now previously I probably just had some sort of energy drink, but I found drinking BPN at that, around that time, I get a lot more energy to get me through, number one, my working day, and number two, it just helps me focus a lot more as well. And based on the servings that come with it, it's a lot more cost effective than it would be to constantly have an energy drink. So yeah, I mean, I guess if you are training for some sort of an endurance event alongside your job, then it's definitely worth looking into, just to give you that bit of extra energy, number one, to get through your day, and number two, to make the sessions throughout your day a lot more effective, basically. So, this is the final training session for today. It is a one hour bike ride at a moderate intensity, so it's going to be going at about 27 to 30 kilometer, kilometer an hour pace. Cycling is actually one area that I'm trying to work on quite a bit. From my previous sprint triathlon that I did a couple of years ago, the discipline that I was most disappointed with. So, I'm trying to put as much effort and energy into improving that as I can. So last week I actually took a bit of a deload week from running. I had a little bit of a niggly injury to do with my shins. So I was used to mileage quite a bit on the running side of things, but I kind of kept the same amount of training for cycling in there because I kind of really helped with the recovery and just maintaining a bit of fitness. So, so I mean, if you are training for an event, any running events in particular, it is good maybe just to add a few cycling sessions in there throughout the week just to one help with a bit of maybe active recovery and two just to change things up a little bit sometimes. Session number three in the books for today. One hour bike ride um, to finish off the day. So we had a 30 minute run this morning, 30 minute weight session at lunchtime, and now an hour bike ride to complete the training for the day. As you can see, absolutely covered in sweat. Um, that's one thing about an indoor bike session is that you can go to pretty moderate intensity and get one heck of a, a sweat on. So after a day sitting at a desk um, or standing at a desk, it really does help just to burn a few calories and get in a decent workout. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> And that completes today's vlog. Um, finished the evening with some birthday celebrations for girlfriend's sister Maddie, she's turned 20 today. And that is just a bit of an insight into what a day looks like training for a half Ironman and Spartan Ultra race alongside a nine to five job. Tomorrow would be a slightly different day, so it's not like that every day. So tomorrow is only just one session, it'll be a swim, but maybe two or three times a week I'll do um, three session days. So that's kind of just a little glimpse of what it's like and yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you'd like to subscribe to the channel it'd be amazing and uh, be sure to like the video thanks